Soldier boy up in the hole, want me crank it, want me roll, want me crank that soldier boy, the soup man, that hoe, watch me, you crank that soldier, watch me, you crank that soldier. Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Us men are down in the DM. Down in the, down in the DMs. Madon's finesse in Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Feel it up with no feeling. This is comments below, welcome, Copper fam, and anybody new joining in. I hope you haven't left already. We're here. We're going to talk about football. Got a few comments. If obviously comments below, take comments. Actually, for the new people, mm. uh, my name is John, and this is Simon. But anyway, some comments before we begin. <laughs> Swear I've never seen you guys wear the same clothes twice. Go to my Instagram. Could mate. be true. <laughs> no, I wear the same clothes. No, nah, we do. Thing. We do repeat yeah. clothes. I have got definitely. An, we both have an abundance of clothes. Mate. We have too many clothes, fam. I have to agree with you. Um, poet legit looked like he's got slices of cheese on <laughs> his knees. <laughs> <laughs> and he proper does look like slices of cheese. Because it's two different types. Yeah, the yeah, cheddar yeah, yeah. and then mild cheddar. Whatever um, that is, isn't it? Yeah, both two people said it as well. Mad saying. Cheddar and mozzarella on his kneecaps. Um, yeah. I did. Rude seems to predict loads of things happening. Ryan Babble to Fulham just confirmed. What's next week's lottery numbers then? But yeah. I swear that was a rumour though, so it's not really a prediction. I don't know because we do. Unless all we spoke about it when we spoke about him time ago, and then we predicted it. All I know is that yeah. our Twitter, is, well, my Twitter anyway. So I don't, I'm, 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 I'm confused. I need to see the. Can someone send the video? The video of footage? when? Because like, yeah, someone said it was from the week before. If we predicted it then, it's not a prediction because it, it was a rumor. It would have to be like months. Like, or, or, give us some context. Yeah. People. Send us a video. If you or can something. find the video of comments below when we spoke about him being an alien that gets reborn, then it might make sense. Then I'd be like, rah, it's a prediction. But now, I can't really take that as a prediction. But anyway, Rude out here looking at the Poundland Giroud. I'm not having that, that's really horrible. He's looking at the I like don't Vooch. know, I think like, I look like, like Ramsey, like Arnautovic maybe. Arnautovic? I think my Giroud days are done. Let me say that, let me say that. Probably Arnautovic. But it's growing now, so it's long. It's, I think it's so cold. I think it's, I'm so it's glad you've done that. It's a cute vibe still. Um, Rude Monreal dancing is one of the all-time highlights of FIFA and Chill series on Copper Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you never played? <laughs> 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 Girl, I can never play. I can never play. I can never you. It was really fun. We did a little. Uh, we did a little. What was that show with the eyes closed? Peaky Blinders. No. <laughs> <laughs> bird box. Yeah, we did a little special bird box edition of um, FIFA and Chills uh, with Puma. Uh, mind control, blind control with Giroud and uh, Monreal. There's a link it's in the description below. You get the, the point though. <laughs> you really been on need. YouTube for so long, you know yeah. what to do. But anyway, uh, as we know, uh, this show has been going on for a long time. A good 12 years. This is incredible. Um, and it has been voted the best ana football analysis show by many, many institutions. Gotcha, uh, and look, I mean, some of the comments that have just reminded us of how great we are. Um, yo, I heard that the great British Bake Off said you man are the greatest football show in the world, I'm which sure. I called up and it's true. Uh, Sergio says the best football analysis show is voted by Moon Jae In, President of South Korea, and Kim Jong Un, Chairman of the Workers' Party of Korea and the Supreme Leader of North Korea on the April 2018 Inter Korean Summit, which wow. is true. I saw it in the papers. Uh, comments below the best football analysis show is voted by both the Sacramento Bee and the New Orleans Times Picayune. That's a great paper, the last one. Uh, best Football Show is reviewed the by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Wow. Be I mean, it's, it's an award that we need to stick up here. Copper Night is the Best Football Show is voted by Nigerian very reputable <laughs> bank <laughs> association. <laughs> the Brexit vote tomorrow is really about who is the best football <laughs> analysis show in the world. Comments below, voted as Best Football Show <laughs> by God, which I, I can't enough. confirm. I haven't met the guy. But best with that to show as voted by the Folkstone Herald. Bro. Anyway, guys, if you do hear, you know, from your dog or from your <laughs> grandma, from anyone, that we have been voted the best football analysis show in the world, do let us know and keep leaving comments below about where you've heard that we are the best football analysis show in the world. But anyway, on to the football analysis, as this is the best football analysis show in the world, as voted by countless institutions. What the fuck happened this week? I mean, it wasn't much. So Can we just go straight into Bielsa and Leeds? Tiger? I'm looking gone. Tiger? 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 Yeah, man, I just like the fact that Bielsa, there was a, a press conference announced, mm -hmm. and they said um, everybody was kind of scared that he was going to get fired. Mm -hmm. Like, it's an emergency press conference. Like, people were shitting it online. Like, what? Is he going to get, is he going to resign? Oh my God, if he, what, if he resigns or he has to get stepped down. He announced the press conference and said, you know what? I've cheated on every team this season and spied on them. I love that. 
Didn't you know, come in and say, sorry guys, I didn't mean it. He said, I've done this to every single team in the, in the championship, every game we've played. That's amazing. Now, this is how I feel. That's like, amazing. And if you do the whole like, ah, oh, but that's wrong, shut up, man. I heard some, I think it was, might have been Frankie Lampard, about coming into the country and respecting the culture and all of these other things. Boo hoo hoo. I mean, Frankie. Brexit we're, we're, means we're, Brexit. We're going to have a massive wider conversation. There's a lot of things that don't belong to the English public that happen to be here in certain Buckingham palaces. And so that whole culture conversation, let's just fucking get rid of that. He's come over here and he's being himself. I think that is sick. Shout You come out. over here and do that cheating stuff. I love it. Shout out to love it. Um, uh, Bielsa for just being an absolute legend. Yes. You need a bit of shithousery. Sometimes. Um, sometimes. Look, if Suarez never bit Ivanovic, there'd be nothing to talk about. You need a bit of madness in it. Where's the fun without the madness? Imagine football was just straight cheddar cheese sandwich. This is why I hate VAR. Dead fun. What am I going to speak? And vegans. Dead. Bro, veg oh, they just um, want Shout out to my vegans. I don't disrespect you guys, but dead. Sorry, guys. I mean, I've literally just got straight into Bielsa. That's what I wanted to talk about. Mm. And there is actually in the script a thing about Bielsa. <laughs> and uh, it just took it to says, what a guy to mark Bielsa. Coming out to the whole public about why he sent out the spies and explaining his genius pregame test on how he spends 300 plus hours analyzing every game his opponent has played last season. Yeah, so he called a, a press conference for Spygate and then gave a PowerPoint presentation and admitted he has spied on all these rivals this season the same way. And then Daniel says, the greatest thing about this Michael Bielsa press conference is the massive FU message being sent to Derby County by giving away all of his extensive analysis on them to the world and every championship team for free. He could have chosen any, any club, club, but no. no. What a guy. So he used them as an example of how he does it. So he said, he basically revealed everything about Derby County, so everybody can just look it up. So now... This man is shithouse legend! And that's why... He's a legend. This is thing, yeah? It I'm reminds sorry. me of this thing I'm watching called what You. A There's a thing called You on he Netflix, is you. yeah? That's his He's son! The guy from, now that's you understand dad. where I'm coming from. You see... Be Bielsa is the great brother in the chair oh, dying. Right. He's always one He's like, step ahead of some everyone else. people need to die. Some people don't deserve to live. You've done the right thing. You're like, <laughs> what the hell? Bro! Ah, 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 ah. Save the blonde girl! Ah. That's, that's Frank Lampard. That is Frank Lampard. He was Lampard. in the box, he come out to the door. Hey, open the door! And then the little kid Open came. the door! And the kid's like... It was Mason Mount and he was, was like, like oh. I'm gonna get a transfer to Leeds next season. <laughs> and he's left. <laughs> so I'm saying, bro... If you've watched you, you'd understand those references. If not, that was a whole lot of gibberish. But we probably seem gibberish to many people. <laughs> but yeah, Bielsa, I'm all for it. So um, leave your comments below what you guys reckon about Bielsa. I, ha I have knowledge. This show, well, it's a show by Bielsa. And See, this is what I'm saying. And the reason why people are upset online is you can't do this on, FI you know, on FIFA. You just sign players. You can't spy on fam, teams. Fam, I love how everything's just going out in the open these days. Now we need governments to do it as well. You know what? We did kill all those people for the money. George Bush comes out. You know what, guys? It was an inside job. Everybody should be like, you know what? I rate you. Man comes out. I'm building the wall because I'm bored. Well, like, <laughs> There's the Great Wall of China. You're just making the Great Wall of the States. I'm reading it now. Anyway, anyway. So, and I want you lot bro, to get promoted. I want Leeds to get promoted so badly. And also, do you know what? Since we're on the topic of Amazing. Leeds, Amazing. there is an RIP. I definitely want to send that to one player that used to play back in the day, Lucas Re and Rodebe's friend. Um, oh, the South African, African guy died, player. right? They used to play for Leeds United back in the day. Yeah, it is. Um, Film a singer, RIP. Rap, that was even saw Ian Wright talking about it. So yeah, man, you know what? Leeds United, shout at you lot, man. Yeah, well, we're gonna be, you know, there wasn't much football this week, but we got a quick review of, you know, Man City winning three 0 But Wolves, they had a few you chances even at Red. Yeah, but they got a red at 19 minute. Like, Bro. obviously Gabriel scored 10th minute, but then Wolves had one chance even with 10 men, which shows me that, you know, Man City at the back aren't great. But it was a, it was a formality. They won. And I'll be completely honest, Derby at Southampton 2-2, two, two, I proper don't care about this game, but Derby won 5-3 in penalties. <laughs> Another thing boys. that happened in the world of football is Petr Cech yes. is retiring at the end of the season. And we have done an interview with him, a little interview, so do check it out when it comes out on the Chanel. I'm happy he's retiring. Yeah, it's time, isn't it? I think it's time. Yeah. You know it is? And this is no disrespect to Cech, I love him, but he looks a little bit out of date. It's like trying Proper. to put your Mega Drive cartridge into the, yeah, into the PS4, yeah. like the cartridge doesn't work no more. He definitely uses his phone like, <laughs> you know when? <laughs> no, he's still got a Motorola. Better check, man. The Walkman one. <laughs> you know, at the back, he just doesn't look comfortable, do you know what I mean? So, he looks bare stiff, man. Yeah, just so. Just stiff. Just 
arguably one of the most successful yeah. goalkeepers Greatest of keepers all time. You're talking about FA Cup winner, League Cup yeah. winner, Premier League winner, Champions World League Cup winner. winner. He didn't win the World Cup, no, but... <laughs> so Petr Cech has retired. Um, yeah, leave us your favourite Don't memories. lie. My favourite memory of Petr Cech My favourite memory of Alex Scott he, is when she walked in. Alex, <laughs> uh, Alex, come for a second. Nice jacket. Thanks. Shout out to Alex Scott. Scott. Alex, what are you fan. saying? Yeah. Hi. Well gone, gang. Your hands are soft, fam. Well gone, G. Yeah, I saw you at the NBA game yesterday, running around. Oh, geez, you yeah. were... Grabbing, like, Sky Sports just... Oh. I know. He went. Ruben was there, yeah, did with Callum Chambers. He's always there. Wilf was there. Troy. Dini! D- 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 <laughs> Arsenal players. Who? Hector. Hector, Hector was there. Of yeah. course he was He messaged there. me still. Oh, Bamiyang. Yeah, I haven't messaged you yet. Yeah. Get me, you know what I'm saying? Name on dropping. On a post, fam. Name but dropping. Was Pierre there at Bamiyang? Yeah, he was. He looked yeah. like oh, a... Oh, man. You could miss him what he was wearing. He looked like a firework. No. He looked like an exploded firework. Um, Chelsea Arsenal, any predictions this weekend? Oh, do you know what? I think it might surprise us. Coming from the Arsenal standpoint, yeah. um, we need a big performance this week of late. So it'll be Ooh, good. Sad, um, but I don't know, it's a close one. Looking at Chelsea yeah. and Arsenal, there's not much difference. It's always a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Uh-huh. We were discussing if Higuain just comes right into the side. I want him to come right in. I feel like it'll be unfair, a bit on the chubby side, yeah. and yeah, that'll be good for us. That's the thing with him. I think he's going to take time to adjust, so he's not going to hit the ground running at Chelsea. Start him. Do you draw? I can't lie. I'm, I'm gearing towards a 2-1 loss for Arsenal. No. Really? But who's at home? No. We are. We are. We're going to go um, Chelsea uh, win no, for I'm you. I'm going Arsenal. I'm going to Arsenal. Yeah. I'm gonna go Chelsea yeah. as well. I see what you're I'm saying. Do you want to come from? Okay. Serious? Yeah. The energies are a bit. Lacazette, the energies. Are... Lacazette, even calling out goalscorer. Oh my lord. Lacazette. Yeah. So there you go. Put your bets on if you want to. If you don't, don't, because betting, you know, I don't know if yeah. you agree with it. <laughs> Liverpool, are they gonna win the league? Do you know what? I come in from the cold. He's like, to come say hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> All right, go, go, go. Are we gonna win the league? Are we gonna win the league? No. Oh! Man City fam. Alex, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Thank you, Alex. Stormed into our set. That was Alex Scott. A bit of football analysis and some basketball as we do. The greatest football analysis show as voted by Alex Scott too. We're killing it, fam. Out like a Z. Like a Z. Like a Z. Like a Z. That would be a sick chart, you know. Anyway, shout out to Petrek. Shout out to Bielsa. Have an announcement, apparently. Copper Knight is looking to create original films for our social channels crafted by those with a passion for storytelling. Each month there will be a grant of up to 1,000 accessible for fans. Presenters and filmmakers tell a story they feel the football community should know about. Click on the link on the screen for more information. Alright, send me that link. I'm so definitely if you have a story that, you want to tell, there's a thousand pound grant every month for someone to tell a story that they want to tell. And you know what, I get a lot of DMs and a lot of messages from people saying, oh, how do you get involved with Copper 90? There, there is go. a great opportunity, so... But you can't film it, like, on your iPhone. Yeah, you got, you for know. Cop Out. Uh, weekend fixtures, well, you've just heard about Arsenal Chelsea from uh, myself, Poet, and Alex Scott. Um, so, yeah, Liverpool Crystal Palace. You know, we won 9 and 10 in Anfield last games. Three goals conceded. You know, Palace have beating the Man City away uh, and they have What's Maradona? Put- Maradona, you're going to have a nice, a bad or an average? Go for a draw. Average? Fucking hell, a draw. I doubt, mm. Nah. I mean, Maradona said they're going to score, but I said Arsenal were going to score. <laughs> nah, I'm confident Did it in Liverpool. Obviously, Palace is a bit of a bogey team. Yeah. But because we are going to win the league, 2-0. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? I'll tell you what, I remember Benteke, I saw some video, 2013, of him Dude. at Liverpool, like getting mad. Fun. Back heels. And you, his head is like a snake's head. It does. It's just like, it's like, it's like coming, it's like a, you know when time, like it's like a black hole, mm. and it's trying to suck you in, <laughs> he just like, like his head got halfway sucked in, <laughs> and, that and, is then, it. and then, yeah, and it, and it just went, Ben Teke's second name. Shout out to Ben Teke, we like him though. But where does his second name derive from? Like, Ben, and then Teke. teke. Like if you take, sick name. You separate them. Ben Teke. Teke sounds like... Teke, like Tekken, like Teke. Tekken, like so maybe somewhere like from food, Asia. Like Asian food. And then Ben, ben. is like, ben. ben, isn't it? Like Big Ben. And I've then you see the man that has these two <laughs> names when you're like, what? I, he used to be sick. I don't know what happened from Newcastle, Cardiff. Oh, the game everyone's talking about. The game that uh, everyone is talking about. Newcastle, what? 18th? Bro. Really? Where's Fulham in? 20th? 19th. Oh, who's no, rock bottom? Hud, Hud. They're gone. Hud, Hud. Hud, Hud, they're gone. Is really like the striker again of Hud, Hud? Oh, Munier. <laughs> <laughs> Just one second. 
Mooney, yeah, yeah? Mooney, yeah. Mooney. All right, cool. We should have a sick bucket here. Yeah, call it Mooney. Yeah, now, this is the Mooney bucket now. Is this the Mooney bucket? This is the Mooney bucket whenever we feel sick. Anyway, That's Newcastle, so Cardiff, the Rio Ferdinand, uh, Mike Ashley Derby. Basically, sports director leaving comments under Rio Ferdinand's for all, and I think. No, that's an L, but I've got to be honest with you. No, 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 no. But I've got to be mad honest. Mm. I respect him. I don't think it's honesty. It is honesty, because mm -hmm. he said, I'm a businessman, and this is what I fuck with. I think it's, these are the circumstances, so this is what I have to say, but I don't think no, that's how he, he truly it. feels. No, but he did, because the buyer asked him, you got product in Sports Direct. What do you think of Mike Ashley? But how? And he was like, I respect Mike Ashley. Did you watch it? I watched the interview he gave, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was thrown under the bus. He was, but he didn't go, you know what? Yeah, I do do that, but with Mike Ashley, I don't know what, what he does. I don't think he's right. But he says no. Like, yeah, the fans should be grateful. Like, who's ever said that about Mike Ashley? I looked at that as, you know what? I have business over there. I'm going to look after... And I'm not saying this is wrong, by the way. I'm yeah, going to look after my interest. business. And no, no, of course, but yeah. he's looking after his business. What he's doing is in the best interest of but his business. But he could have even said I have no comments on that. He could. That's what I would have preferred, though. No, I don't, I don't believe because him. That's, his, that's him. He, he's a businessman. I don't believe him. Not for one second. I believe... I don't know. But I understand where you're coming from because your thing is but Poe, it's business. Like, and he's just saying business in it and I fully understand yeah. that. But there's loads of things in life I've done that I don't really fully believe in. I'm just like, why am I doing this? And I'm a bit confused. And I think that is a moment but for I real. I don't think he looked confused. Mm. He just doesn't give a maybe fuck. Maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. Also, and I'm going to get onto Newcastle fans right now. I'm going to get on them. Why aren't you boycotting the stadium and walk out? If everybody walks out, do you think he's going to stay there as a the chairman? No. And do you know why? You're not even When getting, Liverpool walked getting, out. Yes. When the cop I walked out on the whatever 67th minute because they were going to rise ticket prices from 58 to 67, the highest ticket price or whatever. What happened? They retracted it the next week. So Newcastle fans, I'm sorry, you can't keep moaning. I have to get on them. You have to walk out. And forget this, oh, we have to support the club, we love it. No, walk the fuck out, fam. Because what Vuj is saying is you lot taking some empowerment for your situation. Yeah. Newcastle, understand, I started watching boycott. football properly in 1996. No, boycott. The first yeah. game I watched was well, Newcastle versus Manchester United. It was 4-0 in the Community oh. Shield. David Beckham scored a lob oh. against Pavel Cernicek. Boycott. I'm sorry, boycott the boycott. club. No. We've got a rich history, it's bro. True. They've given and us so much. what we're doing now, I'll be honest with you, but this is good that we're having these combos. Yeah. We are beating around the bush. You're right. We're talking about what Rio said. We're talking about Mike Ash. The about real problem direct. is the fans need to take control. Fam, if you just said we're boycotting Newcastle games and no one turns up, do you think he's still in business? Boycott. It's a problem for most fans. I think even down to the Arsenal fans, I'm not going to the Arsenal-Chelsea game tomorrow for no other reason than I can't be spending more money than Arsenal in the month of January than Arsenal themselves. <laughs> I'm just not on it, bruv. I actually can't go Arsenal because it hurts me too much. I go to the ground, I watch the club. Bruv, Newcastle fans, if we're sharing a similar pain, then maybe we should actually take a stance ourselves and not go. And the more people that don't go, then you're affecting the business because these are actually just businesses. They're not yeah. football clubs no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care about the fans. They yeah. care about investment. They care about yeah. maintaining. Maybe we need to care about what we care about and say, well, we don't care about that, so we ain't going no more. If and until you come for the fans... Yeah, the club will probably go to shit a little bit, but they've been relegated before. Yeah, What's and they come happen, back. Or what will happen is... That they'll get a new owner and he'll sell, he'll sell. He'll be like, well, this isn't making money. And it's just so clear as day. Well, that's I, me. I'm not going to the game. Arsenal fans and Newcastle fans, I'd love to get some comments from you guys yeah, it's on how you feel. Yeah, I like these convos. This They're is like, a good convo. Let's get to the bottom of this. Do you know what? So anyway, yeah. What you guys reckon? What, you think, like, what you guys think we want to know because we've definitely opened a kind of worms there. Real Ferdinand, this is all I'm going to say to you. Once upon a time, you was a man of a dream, bro. You lived in a estate in Peckham. You didn't come from much. So you've had to build up to this point where in which you can say, I'm doing business with Mike Ashley. On that journey, you would have spoken to so many football fans. You'd have been <clears> surrounded <throat> by so many football fans. You would have seen their journey. You would have seen them going to the ground, buying their food. You would have seen how much a Saturday means to these fans. So for you to get to this position now and be talking about you respect like Mike Ashley, it's such a spit in the face of your journey because bro, like man, respect your journey so much. Man, just seeing the end result of you saying that. I've seen your whole journey from you doing 360 spins in the 90s, the late 90s, early millennial in a Premier League game, to moving to Leeds United wearing a terrible suit and having horrible hair, to moving to Manchester United, to winning the Champions League. We respect your journey, my bro. We support you. And it's like for you to get there now and just be like, yeah, man, I'm with Mike Ashley now. Forget you lot. It's like, but we've, to a certain extent, not saying that we like you owe us anything, but we've supported you through this whole journey because of what you've led us to believe. Only to get there now and be like, I'm with Mike Ashley. It's a very, that very... That hurts, fam. Look, it's an interesting debate. And uh, through what I'm saying, I'm in no way supporting Mike Ashley or sports. No, you're not. I'm just saying, let's look at the deeper way how you can potentially change this. But I do understand what you're saying. But anyway, 
Leave your comments below. Yeah, it's a yeah. great conversation. Uh, what you guys reckon about the whole Mike Ashley, Rio Ferdinand, Sports Direct, do you boycott, do you not? What's a real football fan? What isn't? There's so many conversations to be had. As we do move on, though, um, to Hard Hard Man City, which is just, just forget about it. It's 3 0 Man City. <laughs> Fulham against Harry Kane, the Spurs. Fulham are at home, but they, they got Ryan Babble now. So, fam. I like Ryan Babble, but you will lose. They will probably lose. Lorente is definitely level three. Three one maybe to Harry to Harry Kane Les Spurs. We move on to some transfers um, rumors because they have as a football, you know, it's a it's a selling month, buying month. Gonzalo Higuan Higuan <laughs> to Chelsea. Alone with option to buy. Mm. Yeah, cool. He's a good striker though, still. I don't, a good striker. Don't, buy. don't think they'll buy. I don't think they'll buy him, no. No, it's just like... you'll stay on loan and Someone said he looks like a Turkish boss man. Do you know what's so mad? He's just like a good baller, isn't it? Gonzalo Higuain is a French boy who plays for Argentina. Is he French? To... It's mad because when I used to buy him, the man's name's football Gonzalo. manager back in the day, yeah. you could get him and he could play for France or Argentina. But look, like, George Coleman tits, he's saying that is he the missing pigs or, uh, a jigsaw puzzle? As Maradona told us, he scored like 75 goals in 30 games for Napoli when he was under Saribu. Nah. I think he'll. I, I do feel he'll do well though. He'll get like a f- mm. ten goals. Mm. I think he's a good finisher. Chelsea though. have got a rich history of ruining strikers anyway. And Ooh, then on top Crespo, of that, Shevchenko, Kesman, Torres, Torres. Yeah. Uh, Higuain at Chelsea. <laughs> will he do well? Leave your comments below. Hudson Odoi Chelsea to buy him for thirty-five million. That's all mad. Seventy grand a week. Oh, so Hudson Odoi. Oh. Why don't? I was saying he might you, stay. He might stay for seventy grand a week. He should stay because why would you then? If I know if I got Hudson Odoi yeah. or Willian, who are you selling? Hudson Odoi. You are selling Hudson Odoi? I'm selling Willian. He's thirty-one uh, how old years is he? old. Thirty-one. Yeah, Willian's like thirty. He looks thirty-one. Mad He's young a, fam. He looks great. He looks amazing. Right, no but crack. do you know what? If I know I can have Hudson Odoi in front of a thirteen years. Good Man, we'll sell Will Will. Sell Will I am, fam. Black Eyed Peas don't even sell records no more. Sell him. Power to the youth. Play Hudson Adoy. Uh, Marko Arnautovic, 35 million. Whilst come to Shanghai Sibk. Um, I know he says that Marko Arnautovic can go to China if the club get a good deal. But they, they, they do not want to sell him. I do get it though. I can't lie. Um, I saw a player last night that knows him. Spoke a little bit. And to be honest, um, yeah, he should go. 100%. Go, fam. Enjoy yourself. 100%. We've got to be honest. I'm losing, not losing this opinion, but like just, fam, if you're over 30, yeah, if you're at West Ham, you're playing in like... Are you going to win the league? Are you going to win the league? No. Are you going to win trophies? Probably not. So you must just go somewhere and make a little And the page Chinese up. brothers are saying, yo, fam, come here. I've got a good deal for you. Fam, I'm there. Like, he's going to make more money. Just be honest. And let's be honest, he's not from West Ham. He's not from that area. Yeah. He's got to look after his own. We don't know what's happening in his family. Go make your money, dog. And you know what, West Ham fans? How can you be angry about him being selfish? When you're being selfish, you want him to stay at your club. That's selfish. Yeah. He doesn't want to stay there. That's selfish. You might as well just agree to disagree and keep this thing moving, Doug. Fam. Oh, one love. <laughs> Come on. Um, Aaron Ramsey to sign for Juventus, as it seems like it is going to happen. He's been our best player in the last Very 10 good years. Player. Um, that's because obviously Good out. connecting link. He's like connective tissue. Yeah, I realise now that he's leaving the appreciation I had for him. Some people will say, what about Cesc? I'll just say Cesc was great. What did he win? What about Van Persie? I'd be like, Van Persie was smooth. He won one FA Cup. At least I can say in the last 10 years, Ramsey has won three FA Cups and two of them he scored the winning goals. So if we're just taking a look at it for what it is, Donny's probably been one of our best players or at least one of our most influential players in the last 10 years. So give him a testy and uh, love you, son. I mean, well done. Well, let us know your favourite Aaron Ramsey memories and let us know how you feel about him moving to Juventus. And now, can, yeah. on Instagram, one of the most popular clubs, due to Ronaldo, uh, in, uh, Real Madrid's Instagram following has uh, gone down by a million. What? Because yeah. Cristiano left? Since he's left, one million down. He is the commercial god. Man down. But the midfielder, yeah, completed his, uh, wow, end of the show. Munier. <laughs> wow, that was a great show. I really had fun and enjoyed it. Good conversation. Yeah, thank Get you. real, I think, off script, on script. I like that. New, new way to do it, I think. What do we want to talk about straight when we come in? Uh, yeah, and just yeah, and true. And then we go, oh, yeah. then we follow the script. Then we can like, play with it. Because it's always there for a reference anyway. I like it. It's the truth, so I like to Just go with it. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm not speaking in Dutch accent, but I'll see you next week. And make sure you watch the Soldier Boy. Monday. Monday, which is next week. And our Soldier Boy interviews. I want you to watch the Breakfast Club one. That's funny. And please watch the new one. Soldier Boy with Academics. Is the new 6 9 We're going to end there. Soldier Boy up in the hole. Want me crank it, want me roll. Want me crank that Soldier Boy. The Superman, the hole. Watch me, you crank that Soldier. Watch me, you crank that. <laughs>
See you on Monday.